I'm here with Ron Heron, who is a visiting Wiley Fellow from Amolf in the Netherlands. And uh, Ron, can you tell us, uh, you've been a long time user of the facility, what attracted you to EMSOL? Well, it's actually two things. One is the great facilities, and the other thing is the great people. Yeah. Uh, over the years, I've made not only many scientific friends, but also many personal friends. And we've been lucky enough to do some really high quality science with uh, all the capability you guys have here, so. Yeah. So throughout the partnership over the years, we have uh, developed now a partner proposal with you guys at your institution uh, to develop a, a C60, a carbon 60, uh, high resolution imaging mass spectrometer. Can you talk a little bit about your passion for imaging and what you see that instrument doing? Okay. So we've been working at, in the Netherlands quite some time on trying to understand what the spatial distribution of molecules on tissue surfaces is. And for us that's important, all applications of biomedicine. Now mass spectrometers turn out to be great chemical microscopes. Yeah. They only suffer two slight problems. One problem is that Sometimes it's really difficult to identify the species you see and hence you can image. Yeah. And the other problem is that the detail we would like to observe is really down to the single cell detail. So we need high spatial resolution and high mass resolution. Mm -hmm. So we've work been working for years and years to get really high spatial resolution, but we sort of neglected the, the mass and chemical identification capabilities a little bit. And after knowing what EMSL could do in the field of high resolution mass spectrometer, uh, we got together and came up with a partner proposal where we put essentially two and two together, or better, we put high spatial resolution and high chemical resolution together. And that resulted in an idea to try to focus down a C60 particle source, ion source, to generate on the square micrometer wow. ions and molecules from tissues and even single cells. That's cool. Right. I mean, that, that goes right in line with where we see our biology going, which is trying to do single cell analysis so that you can differentiate between the chemistry between different cells, not just within populations of cells. So, You're here visiting for a week or two, and what is it specifically that you're doing with us while you're here? So one of the things uh, we want to take advantage of is the fact that we can do multimodal imaging here, which means we cannot only use the C60, which is in the next room, but we also use the MALDI instrument, which is right here behind us, because the C60 gives us insight in smaller molecules, and the MALDI can uh, actually image the, the, big, the big, big ones, bigger yeah. proteins. And uh, in this case, we have a particular study. Actually, we have two studies why I came here uh, uh, this week. And the one is based on a tissue microarray of breast cancer. In collaboration with the National Cancer Institute in the Netherlands, we actually are looking at hundreds of tissues at the same time in the same single experiment. And uh, by using the high resolution capabilities, we can use that for each of these core biopsies to understand how they respond to therapy. So these are different tumors that have been treated with different chemotherapies. Some of them respond very well, some of them no. do not respond. And what we would like to see, is there a molecular signature that distinguishes the responders from the non-responders? So you can sort of tell what, what, what therapies would respond to what type of tumor, exactly. ultimately. So ultimately, yeah. you would like to take a biopsy of a tumor and you would run that in a mass spectrometer very quickly and you can say to the patient, well, sir or madam, um, this therapy will not work for you, but this will this work will, very well. That's great. So, so tailored medicine. Tailored medicine. Yeah, Effectively, great. That's where it's going. That's the, the, the reason why we set out to do this, nowhere in the world was an instrument available that offered both high spatial and high mass resolution, yeah. right? And that's what we needed for our research. EMSL is setting up uh, chemical imaging capabilities, also based on yeah. mass spectrometer. I mean, look around us. There's so much great yeah. mass spectrometers here that offer us these unique possibilities. And we can also do imaging with that. So our expertise at AMOLF, which we've built over the last five to 10 years on developing uh, tissue preparation facility or capabilities, strategies and protocols. And we're sharing that with you guys. So we're yeah. bringing that in. And in return, some of our scientific studies actually benefit from the great infrastructure, which is here. Yeah. So this is a great partnership. It works yeah. well. Great. Well, I appreciate you uh, coming and visiting us and uh, being a, a Wiley visiting scientist. And I look forward to seeing you more. And you know, thanks, and don't be a stranger. Thanks. I won't be a stranger, and I want to thank you as well for offering that Wiley Fellowship because yeah. those capabilities and those opportunities don't, across, don't come across the scientist path area. And so thanks welcome. very much. And you I bet. will be back. I know you will. And I'll be in the Netherlands. <laughs>